Hi guys, so I just wanted to pop into the Facebook group today and talk to you about something that I know that if you've been in the Facebook group for a while, you might have probably heard me talk about, or if you watch some of my YouTube videos, you'll probably hopefully have definitely heard me talk about this. But I know we've had quite a few new members come in and I haven't really talked about this in the Facebook group for a while. And it's so, so, so important that I thought, let's make a quick video about it, just so you've got it as reference whilst I'm working through trying to organise all these videos to find a way for them to be easier to access. This is something that as I'm looking at stuff, I'm like, yeah, this is important. And this is about remembering to store your digital products safely. And what I mean by this is I know what it's like to have graphic design elements that you've purchased go missing. I know what it's like to have fonts you have go missing on your computer, to lose any photos you've taken or, you know, brand things you've created. And I've even had the extreme thing of losing products that I've created because I haven't stored them properly. So I do have a video on YouTube. I can't remember if I originally created it in this course or if I've always had that one on YouTube. So I will link that below to talk to you about the exact things that I do to make sure I store my products correctly and I know especially if you're using something like Canva I know how easy it is to think well I can just store it all on Canva and there's no problem then because I've got access to them whenever I want and I sometimes get easily carried away with thinking the same especially with things like art printables or planners or things like that but if anything ever happened to Canva if anything you know if for example, you lost your subscription or there was a glitch or something happened, it's just not worth leaving it up to chance and fate. And I'm truly, hopefully, you know by now, I'm not most people to be like, I need to do this and this and this, and I'm not massively, massively cautious. But I have made mistakes of like thinking I've saved something or thinking I've got a copy of it so it's fine, and then losing that copy and literally being like, oh my gosh, I can never recreate that product again. Especially something like a planner or a whole art printable collection, something like that. So just to briefly, because again, I'm, I go more in depth with it in the video that I'm gonna link below. But just briefly, I always recommend that alongside saving it on, for example, the program that you're using like Canva and on the dashboard or something like that, I also recommend using a cloud storage and if you can, using a hard drive, like a physical storage. And literally, as we speak, let me just unplug this. I have them glued to my everything, basically, because I have had the fear of losing things before. And for example, once I've finished an art printable a collection, or I finish a new planner design, or even as big as a course, I all, and obviously things like video content, I always store them on, I, I would just use Seagate drives, but like you can use whatever drives that you want. I always store on hard drives and I try as much as I can to back up on cloud services. I know that certain cloud services can be a bit slow when you're trying to back things up, but I literally have almost all of my art printable designs are backed up on cloud services as well. And that's just because I know how much heart and effort and soul and time and energy goes into creating digital products. And obviously because they're not physical and you can't just store them in your garage or you can't just store them in your office space or whatever it is, I do think it's really important to take extra precaution with your digital, digital products. And I think it's so easy for us to be lulled into a sense that a program like Canva, which is absolutely amazing, or if you're using PicMonkey or whatever else you're using, it's so easy for us to get kind of it lulled into a sense of, well, it's completely safe because it's a big program, because they know what they're doing, I don't have to worry about it, so I will store everything that I create on there. And I'm, I've never had a problem with Canva, so I'm not saying that this has ever happened with Canva, but I have used other things that either when I've stopped subscribing to them, I can't get access to things or I'm really limited to what I can do with those things. But more importantly, if I just whack them on my like desktop, which is something I used to do, like save all my copies on my computer, 
it's so easy to fill up that storage and then to either lose things or accidentally delete things and it's just not worth it when it comes to these are the things that are making you your income they have the potential to grow your income grow your business they are the things that you are trying to sell and also not even just the things you're trying to sell the things that go towards your brand design elements and your social media post elements and everything in between so finding proper storage for them and treating them as if they are real products that need to be stored I personally is just the way that I like to do it so again I'll link that video down below that explains exactly how I store my digital products and why I store my digital products so it's still it's still the exact same method but if you have not yet invested in something like hard drives or getting yourself on a cloud storage and you haven't started saving your digital products which I know quite a lot of you guys are like quite a few of you are fairly new and you're in the Facebook group so this is hopefully maybe an introduction to that but maybe also like me you kind of forget and you get overwhelmed with the things that you're creating and you're kind of like oh god yeah okay yeah i need to sit down and just make sure that i've got everything protected and i've definitely today been going through i've just had a nightmare with some stuff trying to get it sorted and i've had to like delete a load of stuff and it's just been horrendous because i didn't have another one of these available so yeah and i have like three or four of these yeah i just think as part of being an online digital product creator proper storage for your products is just so essential so yeah i just basically wanted to pop into the facebook group today and just kind of remind you guys if you've already heard me say about storing your products and storing your design elements correctly and then also maybe introduce you guys to this if this is something that perhaps you haven't even thought about and you're like oh yeah okay i need to have a proper place to store them so that if anything happened to them my listings disappeared or you know i had to redo anything i've got everything safely there because I've heard a few horror stories in my time of people who didn't store anything that they created and then for whatever reason a shop gets shut down or you know a, a website gets pulled down or something and they lose so so much and I'm super conscious of that and still not perfect with it either so yeah definitely proper storage and online storage is the way to go so yeah i just wanted to create that video basically it's just a little reminder of that and also i would love if you have any other video ideas that you want me to create because i'm kind of thinking about we've kind of got a mixture in here of more experienced students and newer students and i'd love to just start to get some feedback on what you guys what videos you'd like me to create what content you would like to see in the facebook group if you have any ideas of that that would be absolutely amazing definitely just leave a comment below the video but yeah so i will see you in a month's time for the next video but i'm always in the group if you need me i try and answer everybody's questions i read through and check so if you've got a question i'll try and get to it and make sure that i kind of give you the proper help that's needed which i think is pretty much the most important thing like i know creating content for you guys is something that i like to do in the group but most importantly i just like to be there for you to support you as much as i can with kind of you know building your own business and the hurdles that you go through and the, the little tricky things that i've had experience with that you're thinking i don't know how to solve that but actually they're not too hard to solve so yeah i hopefully this facebook group is somewhere that you love to come to and just kind of get your questions answered feel part the community see the new content that's coming in and hopefully it just gives you that support along your own online business and art printable business journey so i'll see you in the next video guys bye